Hi, beautiful Capricorn. Welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Capricorn, uh, this is your love reading, and I've set the time frame to early March until early uh, April of 2021. Um, if you listen to me before, you know that unicorns and peacocks are my indicator that a soulmate connection is around, and that's why I wanted to start with this unicorn deck today, just to highlight it a little bit. Whatever is going to come out, it's going to come out anyway. I also just want to say, I hear these uh, comments uh, about like, I'm just prepping my lunch to sit down and watch this video or just make, I'm just making myself a cup of tea, whatever, to listen to this video. And it just warms my heart because that's what I want this to be about. It's not a quick fix reading. So if you need a quick fix reading, I'm not it. Because it takes me a little bit to build up the energy, to really get into the energy and really understand what's going on here. And I take my time to do that. And I always listen to my guides and I can't sort of rush the message. So if you're in for like wanting to have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or a little bit of lunch, uh, I'm your person. So let's see what's... Wow, that was quick. So let's see what's going on for you. Uh, love message. There's flying out here. <laughs> wow. Um change and true really flew out there and true i'm immediately thinking about uh chloe uh, chloe kardashian is it ah oh, i can swear by it now but i think it's chloe kardashian that has a girl named true wow the information i have and other things i do not know <laughs> it's like they should swap places um Okay, so true. So true might actually be a name. There might actually be somebody out there named True. Uh, welcome to this reading. Uh, and then brothers and sisters. Interesting, because yeah, it might be siblings or something like that. Bro brothers and sisters, exercise and decide. So true and change flew out there almost at the same time. So there's a big change happening here for you. The changes you're going through are positive and the true card says yes what you're asking about is the truth uh, so if I look at this change card first it's all about going through the portal stepping through into something new and whatever you're gonna step through to which is numerology wise number 11 um, it's gonna be all good it's very positive that you're making this change or this change that you're undergoing is very positive um, I also feel like it's very, the true card is also like a very authentic. I also get the the star back there. So it's like a wish fulfillment. There's a new beginning, an exciting new beginning with a wish that's going to come true here, come true. Um, wish upon a star, basically, and whatever you wish for is now about to take place. What you're asking about is the truth. So yeah, so the authenticity of it, it's, it's the real deal, if you will. I'm actually going to start with those because those felt a little bit separate for, separate from the rest of the cards. So I'm going to start to clarify those. So what is this change about for Capricorn and their love? Change. Nine of Michael, there's an ending. And then Perspective, the Hangman. Um, there's a better way. Yeah, okay, so this change just talks about what you're getting out of, what you're coming away from. So nine speaks about endings coming into the new. Nine is also wish fulfillment. There's something about, like, there's... Okay, I'm going to just read it out. Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. So whatever this is about, is it's unnecessary for you to worry about it. It's like put your shift your focus to what you're a little bit of like the past shift your focus from the past rather into the future or rather even to the now like what you, your now moment <laughs> just, I just realized for some reason I just Mickey Mouse here just really caught my eye and how he just looks like <laughs> he just looks oh that way where where are we that way it's mirrored so it's so hard to know what direction here um it's just looking that way like can I be in on it can I sort of have been on this party uh, it's a very curious 
I, that this has never happened like in the reading or whatever I've chosen to to wear uh it's very interesting it's like so Mickey true and Mickey 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 in Swedish or or Mickey like anyway there might be names coming through here for you um we have nine a Michael so that's Michael Mikey Mickey Mickey there's something with like curiosity. Start to look at it from like Mickey Mouse's eyes, like curiosity. Like I want to be in on it. it what, what is it? What is the adventurous thing that is happening happening there into the future, rather than worry about something that's in the past? That nest that it's look by the look at by the look of it, you don't have to worry about. It's really nothing to worry about. I see the phoenix rising there on the wall, and then there's a owl that's just flailing about there so there has been a journey up until this point for sure and you're stepped into this wisdom now so use that wisdom i know it sort of sometimes it just becomes annoying that you know you have all this wisdom capricorn you know what to think about you know what to do and then sometimes you sort of fall back into the old way of thinking and you know you're doing it which is even more annoying um but this is sort of a little reminder that you really don't have to think about certain things because it's unnecessary. It's the ending of the old and coming into the new. That's the change. And number 12 and perspectives. 12 in itself is really a beautiful energy. And uh, numerology wise, that's masculine energy. And so it's like uh, movement forward. It's, it's a change in the wind. We're making it happen. Action is being taken here. And then it's like a change of perspective. So on the bottom it says, there's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. So I just feel like the different perspective here is to sort of see that there is there is a light at the end of the tunnel and there's another path. There's another way. There's a better way for you. And that's what this change is going to bring about. For, for right now, choose what that is for you. Like whether that is love or... It could even be work or your body or finances or whatever this is. It is your love story. Uh, but sometimes I feel like the love story, you can really apply it to whatever is going on in your life. Just like the general, you can apply that to your love. So <clears throat> what is true here? What is this about? Why is that here? True is here. There's solutions. And wow, 4 and 14. So usually when these comes out together like this, it's like, okay, so four is the major theme here, which is the heart matter. You're laying a new foundation for yourself. You're starting something brand new. You're starting over. It's a new beginning for the heart. There's a new beginning for the heart. There's a solution and you're stepping into the emperor. Like you're coming, you're going through this change or you have, have gone through this change. You're stepping through this portal, making the shift. <clears throat> and... Whatever has been going on, there's a solution to it. Success comes from an objective compromise. Self-control and patience. Forgiving and healing energy. And 14 for me is, that's what it's all about. You go from 12, which is the masculine energy. You go into 13, that's the divine feminine. I was like, what did I just say? Um, and then 14, me and my guides have come up with this. So it's not, you weren't, you're not going to find it if you look up numerology. But like 14 over time has just become this most beautiful next level number, which is all about like grace and generosity and kindness and love and beauty and vulnerability in the best sense uh, to just really fully be open and receiving. It's just such a beautiful energy and it's with solutions. So it's solutions through grace and generosity and kindness. It's like there's... The shift that is taking place, the solution that is happening here for you, it's not a, it's not an abrupt solution. It's not an abrupt change. It's not a tower moment that's sort of gonna, yeah. I, so I had some change there. I needed to move. Why? Because I was thrown out of the old, old apartment or the, all the old house or something like that. Or you know, yeah, I needed to change, change a job or you were, whatever. It's like this is, this is an, this is a smooth transformation. It's a beautiful transformation. So it's, it's really nothing to fear here. And there's a new beginning for your heart. 
whether that we're going to find out whether that is about love or or what whatever that is it's a new beginning for your love <clears throat> this allows for you to step into the emperor energy the emperor i'm going to read out stability and efficiency taking charge of a situation ambitious plans so the emperor sitting there on his throne i love how we have like one starting like one flame like a light burning light here and then we have another burning light here, right here it's like the the light is here we sort of see the light or the burning flame coming closer and when you're stepping step into this like emperor mode you're holding light in in your hand you have attracted it and i love the, the i love the continuation from the hangman like a little bit upside down everything's a little bit upside down it's still purple so it's like we still have like spiritual growth personal growth happening here on your part we're coming into this it's almost like it's the same image it's just the upside down has sort of now it's now upright and we we turn a little light on and again it's like the same vibe still a uh, purple border and now we've attracted the light into our hand so it's like it's an ongoing process a beautiful ongoing process smooth change it brings you stability and and you just feel stable and solid basically very confident the emperor and yet again there with the four it's a heart matter it's laying a new foundation for yourself. You're starting something fresh here, coming from the heart. It's very heartfelt. It's very true for you. It's very authentic. Uh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. I just needed to uh, know whether I was going to move on or clarify even more. But we're going to deal with these, the rest of the cards here first. So brothers and sisters exercise and decide. So brothers and sisters, um, to get along with others, see the love and the best within them. And even though this is called brothers and sisters, I feel like this is your person and I feel like this is your soul tribe. Like they're coming out of your soul tribe. There, there are two unicorns, very alike. Like I said, I don't feel like it's more like um if it's a soul tribe situation you would call them your sister i don't feel like it's necessarily your family member sister or family member brother this could be a soul tribe situation you just feel very drawn to each other because you sort of emanate from the same soul family like in in from source um or it's a it's a soulmate connection meaning a, a partnership your divine counterpart uh, with a lot of emotion uh, like in the middle of the sea raging sea so there's a lot of emotions around this relationship and then we have exercise run walk swim or otherwise move your body this will give you more energy and happiness and i i felt that with the change also when the change came out uh before i even saw the exercise card i just felt this uh, stagnation is too strong a word uh, stagnation is when when it basically has stopped I think Capricorn that you need to move a little bit more there's something about mm, I, and I don't care like I, I, I joke about this all the time but to get me out to run over my dead body like it's just not gonna happen in a year or two who knows in a year or two who knows who, who knows what new ideas one might get I don't think so um so whatever your preference this for me feels like circulation i always tell my my oldest son like it's not about whether you exercise these these many minutes or not i i i can't also not tell him that because i can't tell him that what i can't not tell him that <laughs> what am i telling to him <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. um it's more like a circulation thing because I don't sort of go out and run myself. I don't do any sports. I don't do anything like that. So it's about circulation. 
to get your energy in circulation. And I feel that from you, Capricorn. You need to circulate your energy a little bit more. Whether that be running, if you love that, or swimming, or just walking, or just get up and move your body more. It can also be circulation in your mind, like in your mind's eye, like your intellect about what you're thinking about, to not sort of be stale in your thoughts, but to move around. The best way to move around your thoughts is to actually go on a walk. Try to have an argument when you're walking. It's sort of, you can't, because it, it doesn't, that's why we can't have arguments. That's why I have all these wonderful cruises out on the ocean. You rarely find something really, really, really going bad, unless it's Titanic, obviously. <laughs> but it's like, that's why we love the ocean because it's so the the energy field sort of is very clear there there's, there's not too many people there that has created these blocks of thought there so it's so open it's so open-ended to be there so it's so beautiful to sit by the ocean because it's, you're not cluttered by all these uh, thought forms there's something about circulation really in, in need and then we see this sort of water coming in the waterfall like heavy emotion happening strong emotions happening at the same time here and then decide uh, it's time to clearly make a decision about what you want and and yet again so okay so we have the, we have these two horses two unicorns like swimming in the ocean uh with so much like waves which for me is just a very emotional the the emotions run wild here and then the waterfall coming down here showing all these emotions and then we have this unicorn basically bathing in emotions they're standing in this uh, fountain <laughs> this water fountain in the back there and just they're drenched in water it's a water fountain so i get it but still so the, it's a very um it but the sheer look at it look of it look in it it looks like we're dealing with some sort of relationship and we might have got a little bit stuck in what to do with it and so we need a little bit of circulation here it's very overwhelming uh emotionally and we need to make a decision about what to do about wh where to go with this so we're going to just clarify this and see what this is about can we clarify basically all of all of it So the cards want to talk. So that's the third, uh, fourth, fifth. That's the fifth purple border that is coming out. Uh, this is very beautiful. So to me, this looks like Just give me one. I just want to feel into the energy here because the change, this authentic change, this dream coming true, this wish fulfillment with the true card there, stepping into the emperor, the wish. Okay. So, brothers and sisters, circulation and decide. At first it looked like looked like you were in a relationship and perhaps you need to make a decision about whether to stay and this like you're in this relationship we need circulation and and also we need um you need to decide what to do with it like whether to stay in this relationship or not and although that can be going on i think that's just for what maybe one or two people uh, there's the may, the general story that comes out here is that your this is your wish, your wish is to come together with your soul tribe. Your wish is to come together with a real, authentic, honest, soul tribe friends. Or this it doesn't have to be or it can be and. Um, this is a wish to really meet your soul person, your divine counterpart. This can be uh, a quest for just really getting together with 
just a perfect people in terms of work, somebody that really understands what you're trying to do for work and to have that connection with somebody else that has this, that shares the same vision. There's a wish to come together here. And it's a, it's a very, because of all the water, it's a very strong wish. It's a very emotional wish for you. Uh, I feel like, so the worry, like you have been a bit stagnant in your, in your mind, like uh, thinking about how this is going to turn out. When is it going to happen? When you're going to sort of meet your soul tribe or your divine counterpart or your perfect person for work? Like when is this going to take place? How is that even going to be possible? And we need to circulate the thoughts around this. You need to let go a little bit of the thoughts around this and let the universe provide you with new thoughts and new insight on the situation. And it's interesting because at the end of this, it's like, but you have the ultimate decision here. So it's almost like you still haven't decided. Capricorn, having not had this before, as I just said the word decided, I feel like if not the last reading, the reading before, wasn't it something about it's like it's right there. It's right in front of you. You just have to decide to sort of grab it. You have to just you, you're the one who makes the decision now to allow it in. OK, you're the one who's going to decide and it's very emotional in your part. What comes out around it, it's uh, first this chariot and the leap of faith, which is absolutely gorgeous. We're going to start with the leap of faith here. You've come full circle in this situation. It's like it's time to move on. It says believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy. It's like start to live. Get out there. Uh, listen to your intuition a little bit more. Just a little bit more about where you're... Uh, what, about where you're guided right now. Where to go in life. And I see like everything sort of leads you in the right direction. It's like you have divine guidance behind you. Uh, pushing you forward we have a trustee be just behind you with the dog the trustworthiness the loyalty the just the absolutely most gorgeous loyal friend it's just there right by your side to sort of, sort of guide you as well and then we have these ducks in a row the ducks right next to you that actually are not ducks whatsoever <laughs> but they are do you see them as i see them do you see that this is a duck like a really strong duck with a orange beak. Is that what it's called? And then the ducks and then the ducks. I see these as ducks. If I, if I shoot too close, you might not see it. I see it though. When you look closely, it's just a whole set of flowers. If you, if you want us to focus, you, I think you see that. It's just a bunch of roses. But here, it's ducks for sure. It's ducks in a row. And they're like all on the same path as you are. Moving forward, moving you forward. This is there. This is the grand transformation. This is the time. Capricorn is like, yeah, haven't we? Haven't we? I'm. I'm not saying that I don't have to have certain messages over and over again until I get it. Until I sort of have the guts to get out there, or, or, like, oh, <laughs> is that what they mean by that? You know, sometimes we just need a little bit of time to adjust to new environment, to new possibilities, new thoughts, new thought forms, you know? Uh, but I think this is, we've been over this a couple of times now that, you know, the whole world is before your feet and it's sort of up to you to take this leap of faith now and move forward. Um, we have the chariot, which basically I'm gonna read out uh, determination and self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. So this indicates, and I just have to say what I, what I receive first as a guidance, because I see this now, uh, the unicorn couple there again, like we have the black and white. It's very much yin yang. This is most gorgeous, just like this, the most gorgeous, uh, coupling. I'm not going to lose that thread. I'm, I just have to say, as I started to talk about this most gorgeous relationship here, I get a pressure. Uh, oh, man. I have no idea what that is called. Tinningar. I'm not receiving it either. I uh, immediately unblock myself. This 
point here, just maybe a little bit over it, right here. Tinning, I would say in Swedish. I don't, I don't know what that's called in English. I, I, <coughs> I don't think I do. <coughs> um, excuse me. Right above the tinning up, there's like a pressure that just starts. It's not, it doesn't hurt me. It doesn't, it's not heavy as it can be like a headache or a light headache even. It's just a pressure. So I'd say that that's like third eye level, third eye energy center going on. There's a little bit of pressure going on here. So if you felt a little bit of pressure over your head, know that this is like information, guidance that wants to come through to you and you can allow it in, okay? Very, it was so uh, obvious, I just needed to say this. And then if you felt that, pay extra attention to this reading. <clears throat> so yeah, very strong connection there. You want this very strong connection with a certain someone. The unicorns there again. Like I started off saying, my unicorn connection there is a soulmate connection could be in the essence. It's the chariot. It's movement forward. It's success. You're going you're gonna to have this relationship. This relationship is in the vicinity of you. We just need to continue. This is all about movement forward. This is like the world and the, the wheel of fortune and the chariot, like all in one. It's like the end of the old and we're stepping into the new. There's action forward. Um, you're you're going to go on this journey. It's the number seven. So it's a completion. It's time to enjoy what you have created for yourself. And you have created this scenario a thousand times by now, if not more. Out then comes uh, three and four. So there's a beautiful process here. It's sort of telling you to first start to do what you love. And we had that before here. It said, there, it said that somewhere. Do what you love. <clears throat> Excuse me. Be creative. Open up that heart of yours. I see the wheel there in the back. Uh, open up your heart of yours and just be connected in with your inner being and start to be creative and do what you love because that puts you on a really good path to attract this type of love that you're seeking. And you will have your happily ever after. Time for a celebration, abundant rewards for hard work, release yourself from burdensome situations. This is the commitment that you're seeking. Four is about a heart matter. You're laying a new foundation. Haven't you had, that's the third four coming out. So there's so much about your heart energy center right now, connecting in with your person. Okay, if you, um, I'm gonna move into the extended. So if you feel like you resonate with this reading, you're so welcome to come to the extended. The link to that is in the description box down below. If not, thank you so much for watching Capricorn and I hope to see you back soon. Take care guys, bye.